continue with this here. I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. Eastside docks, 6.44 p.m. Stay on guard. Show time. <laughs> This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse mode. 133. Inspect the evidence. Analyze the crime it. scene. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with Vile that. Stuff. Those what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing left to bury. Uh okay, they can be linked together. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, non explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen Them these outfits the before. Mercenary. Same, the same guy that broke into City Hall. Yeah. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. the door right off. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. That too. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. There might be something over here, so we'll examine the pallets. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Yeah, they did. There's a lot of stuff to do. A lot of different uh, bad. game techniques. Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Skyline Club. This man's been badly burned. 
the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this? Ah. Uh -huh. Gross. Sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Hey, what's going on, Exter? How you doing? Bloody hands. Blood, broken nails. Bits of human flesh. All right, time to link those two. Did it go through his hands? No. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Ripped up face and... What? Can we link it to anything? So let me link it. Break link. Oh, here we go. That's why. Link two. I didn't realize he had to break the link. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Okay, continue linking evidence. Okay, so now this, and I think this might actually tie all the way to the hole in the thing back here, or maybe not. Uh, let's untie that, yeah. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Look at unscorched area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Okay. And try linking that to this now. I don't think it's going to be a link, but maybe. Unlike items that don't seem good yet, yet they don't have a good connection. <laughs> okay. What if I break the link between these and link this to the guy's bullet? Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Aha. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. All right, and then we can try linking these two. Someone Truck. drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Well. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. 
cops moved in to stop the theft, Falcone's men gunned them down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent, a cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Okay, the sniper's nest, gravel too. Both targets could have been shot from here, but no phosphorus trace. I'm gonna say that one. Found some. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Yeah. Have a winner, chicken dinner. Hey, cigarette. Hmm. <laughs> Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Trace stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. World's greatest detective, achievement unlocked. <laughs> Make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't yeah, right. break. Your bones will. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Time to live up to my reputation. You know, you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan. Or I start swinging. If you're gonna hit, <laughs> tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. <laughs> I start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals is some kind of explosive. A weapon! I don't know! Falcone said he'd use him soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! I was just here for a pickup! I swear! You're fat! 
<laughs> oh God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. It's Montoya. Send the cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. Hey! Freeze! Don't move! Stand down, Montoya. No. Thank God. You was about to kill me. You want to tell me what the hell this is all about? I told you he was about to kill me. What are you waiting for? Arrest him! Falcone was behind this. Falcone, yeah. You thought he'd been a little quiet lately? Falcone stole a shipment of chemicals. Appears to be a weaponized nerve agent. Causes people to I go I mean, we did tell him to come body. here, so we might as well we tell him what happened, before too. He releases it. I got a task force on it. You already have one. <laughs> You're taking this too far, Bruce. Too far? Uh, now nah, they already took it too far. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. I didn't, though. Your parents didn't raise you this way. They even hit him. And neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, I punched him morgue. once. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Trust me, I won't lose my way. It's quite understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your yeah, curse. Right? Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery It was literally one punch. I didn't hit him shores, with the bat. I did or or the, sorrow. the piece of when you gear. Your I fate, didn't break his arm. Remember why you started all, all this. I did was apply pressure. Remember that boy in time. the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Oh. Well, looks like that computer. egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... ...more than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. But it goes back years. I don't know. It could either be working together. <laughs> Awkward silence. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or 
who you think could do the most good. Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police, and Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. It's probably going to be the end of episode one. This is a silver bullet, and it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Wow, he looked through that fast. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. I heard you were the last honest man on the force. No need to blow smoke. <laughs> I got enough cancer coming my way as it is. But thank you. Honestly. Knowing this evidence can lock up Falcone. <laughs> I'll sleep like a goddamn baby. For once. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Wayne's always supported the Gotham police. So I'd like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. The investigation isn't the problem. It's the Wayne family name. Help me clear it. If your family's clean, I'll sing it from the rooftops. If they aren't, I'll still sing. You gotta understand, I'm bound to this badge. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. As long as it's put to use. So, well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. It's a transformer. Good stuff. Skyline Club, 9 19 p.m. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, you alone? 
Not anymore, I'm not. Gotta watch it. Cameras. The entire floor is under surveillance. You'll be detected as soon as you enter. No time for subtlety. Wait, look who it is. It's the people from, uh... Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? It's the same ones that were at Wayne's no. place. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. The red rose after tonight. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. Put together a plan of attack. Stand by. All right. So, hmm. couple of options for taking this guy down. Gunman and the table. Uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, we can do the light. This guy. Pillar. And I think there's one more at the the balcony. Yeah. your work Bruce have you formulated your plan of attack you going, going in. very good sir your turn to crash his party let's do it I got that. Goddamn circus freak! 
<laughs> nice. Get your own guys. Show yourself. You got no goddamn right to be here. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You've got a lot to learn, kid. Damn. That's some like military grade stuff. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. try answers now or you fall you <laughs> all right all right uh, the chemicals where are they what i found your calling card what? in the docks the white rose you think i wanted to lead you here <laughs> yeah something reeks about this old thing and it in a dead bat Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Spill it, Falcone. While you still can. <laughs> it's the wings. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You wanna save this city? Well, the wings are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! An idea. Room with a view. <laughs> true. Very true. Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon, 
Falcone's going away for a long, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about, the Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham, that this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here shaking hands with Carmine Falcone, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back saying, Whoever fabricated these lies about my family, they will get what they deserve. Understood? In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes' time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! Oh, boy. Episode one, one yeah, episode one, <laughs> Realm of Shadows. I added it all together. Oh, dude, I forgot about this. Oh, I, I always love these things. Just stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone. You and 67% of players defeated or er, defied Falcone by inviting him into the private meeting. You and 85% of players chose to control the emerging Wayne story and provide Vicky with a quote. You and 51% of players showed mercy in your interrogation of the dock shooter. Who did you give the data to? You and 72% of players gave Falcone data to Lieutenant Gordon instead of making information public through Vicky Vale. Wow. All the choices I did is like the higher end so far. How did Batman deal with Falcone? You and 80%, 82% showed restraint and handed him over to a police sound and safe. Wow. Good people. <laughs> when your parents died, they left me as caretaker. All right, so now that that was pretty much the the ending of the first one. Oh, wait. Well, their estate, their son, Let's see, and their secrets. I guess you have to watch the trailer for the second I would one. I never betray them. Good Batman. Yeah, right. <laughs> Next time on Batman. Your parents were good people, Bruce. No matter what that thug Falcone told you. Then swear to me, there's no truth to it. The evidence you brought me on Falcone held up. Maybe I misjudged you. Now Batman's beating up mobsters too. Wonder who he's after next. Hell of a view. Bruce, the Wayne name is toxic. I have to do what's best for my campaign. What's best for Gotham. I have to distance myself. I oh, will boy. find the truth. Along with anyone who stands in my way. <laughs> How much would you like to upload your local save to the server or download the cloud save? Upload local save. I think the cloud saves are turned off, actually. Let's see. Looks like it went through. Alright.
So before we start uh, episode two, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Um, plus, my girlfriend's going to be here any minute now. So I will be right back and then we'll continue with episode two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back and we can finally get Children of Arkham episode two started here and uh, see where it goes from there. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Your father. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Bye, Bat. <laughs> this is Selena. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? Yeah. We're all being played in, couldn't you? Ah, the money. <laughs> it's the Wayne's. Yeah, they're not very good. <laughs> Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. That's so loud. Hey, your feet. That crime alley. You don't have to do this. Only you now, Master Bruce. Crime alley, five thirty eight AM. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. Yara. You're so loud. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. 
Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, but not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then oh boy. they were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. There's a wild wolf in when my room. When the police room. called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... Yar. Big. Yet, yeah. there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail, just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. I love that movie. Saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. What else is there? Uh, the guns on the graffiti. Apparently, the. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just. I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Oof. Where exactly <laughs> white, does the memory end? White fluffy tail. With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. <laughs> and the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection maybe do I really want to know Just business. It 
told me you had it coming. What? You don't have to do this. They were assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Crazy how he remembers all of that. 2.1 Broken Memory. Batman. The Telltale Series. GCPD, 8.56 a.m. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. <sighs> I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. Shipment details, one day shipping. At least tell me what this is but about. I won't ship until Thursday. What? Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's, that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me. Just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's, He's not everywhere. getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say. You know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah. It's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. Episode 2. Children of Arkham. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My <laughs> own wife can't get in to see me. Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. 
Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> Talk like that. You remind me of your father. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you, you showed me the door. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? All right now. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha... She had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah, there's a kindness in you. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Chill? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the Oh, snap. They're waiting for you in hell! Oh, shit. The bastard had to die. Get in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Damn. BCPD 1022 AM. some time but not much or it's gonna get out sooner or later why would she do something like this we had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp this close we were this close I don't I don't know I hardly recognized her when she burst in she was so different from the woman we met in the hall <sighs> it's a disgrace another officer gone rogue just doesn't make any sense. I don't know. The blue stuff on her She'd lips is pretty apparent. She never do anything with the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? 
So we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Harvey's right. We need to control this story or someone else will. Then we need the whole story, not just part of it. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God! I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Hey, you can see it. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Mr. Wayne? <gasps> What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling Nothing. something terrible happened. Uh, everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light like i could do whatever i wanted no guilt no consequence there was a voice in my ear insisting falcone was gonna get off and all i knew was that i had to stop that i had to no matter what the reasons why i shouldn't they were a million miles away D did you see a face could you id a suspect i i don't think so you must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm. Guiding me. Like a parent with a child. The voice. It was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? He's everywhere. My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired, near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I have no comment at this time. 
Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Word is you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Just give me something to run with. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Be a rough one there. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we <laughs> have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It this makes me want to watch Gotham. That. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. What? Hmm? Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Yeah, in a bit. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. Considering they can make an the army. amount they stole from Falcone, they could build a small army of remorseless assassins. The thought is chilling. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. There's this one. Bring me her head. Hey, 
Once I finish this chapter. I don't know. There it is. A Skyline Club. Where we are at in Skyline Club. When we took him down. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Hey. Skyline Club 457. Alright, one sec.